Yo, what's good guys? Hicks MMA Fitness. Um, just got done competing in my first kickboxing competition, as you can see. Uh, took second place. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself, you know, with uh, not striking it at all, you know. First time ever doing a strike competition to second place. Pretty proud of myself. Uh, competing at 195 to 215 weight class. Obviously, I was pretty undersized compared to all my opponents. You know, I'm five foot seven, and uh, my opponents were six foot two, six foot four, six foot six. But at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter how um, it doesn't matter how you know big your opponents are. The way I look at it is, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So you know. As you can see in my two fights, even though the second one that I lost, I got TKO'd, but it was like pretty back and forth. But um, but it is what it is. Um, I definitely do see myself competing at lower weight class. But at the same time, you know, just it's all about getting that experience. Win, lose, or draw, it's all about getting that experience. You see me, I post my wins and losses. You know, I'm not like these other uh, people on social media just only post your highlights. Nah, fuck that. In the day, realistically, you're gonna have ups and downs in life because if life was so smooth sailing, it'll be boring, right? <laughs> so, at the end of the day, you always gotta post your wins and your losses. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I feel like that could be, you could relate to the masses by doing that. Instead of just posting your wins and your highlights. But yeah, it looks cool. But at the same time, it's unrealistic unless, don't get me wrong, there's people who are undefeated. I'm not, you know, I'm not downplaying that. But at the same time, you always want to post your good, your bad, and the ugly. It's not everything's gonna be pretty, man. And um, if you guys ever think about like competing, do it. Do it, there's nothing like fighting. Seriously, it's something you can't fake. You know, like some people on the internet, they can fake a lifestyle. But you can't fake fighting. <laughs> you really can't fake it, you know. Even if you don't plan on competing pro, you know, do a couple of amateur events. You will thank yourself later. Honestly. You see right now, I'm at the Hyatt Regency in Orlando. I'm in the pool, you know, enjoying myself. And um, yeah, you know, just loving life, man. So, I'm telling you guys, win, lose, or draw, just compete. Either if you're competing in jiu-jitsu, wrestling, kickboxing, MMA, just compete. You will feel a whole lot better. You will feel a whole lot better yourself as a man if you just compete. I promise you guys. You know, just take it from me. And, uh, oh man, I know I'm like rambling on, but I'm just saying that I'm really happy, you know, with, uh, I'm really content with what I did, you know. You know, I was like undersized from my weight class. Fuck it, the bigger are, the harder they fall, you know, like, I'm not afraid of nobody, I fear no man but God, I'm not afraid to die. And it's just like, <laughs> you can't be afraid of another man. Like, you can't be afraid of somebody who bleeds the same blood as you. That is weird, <laughs> you feel me? So, um, yeah guys, um, like I said, very short message. Also, I would like to thank, you know, thank you for 100 subscribers, you know. I really appreciate you guys, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. You know, love me, cool. Hate me, even better. Leave a comment, you know. So, I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. You know, this is something I'm really passionate about is fitness and martial arts. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is only the start. Trust me. We're going to get down to 185 and get down 170. Because even my coach told me, you know, he would like to see me at 170 after my uh, performance, guys. After my performance, I feel like if I were in a lower weight class and I performed the way I did, I'd be knocking dudes out. Like, I'm just realizing this. I was wobbling dudes when they had hair headgear on and I had 10 ounce gloves. So imagine me when the headgear comes off with smaller gloves I'm knocking dudes out. I'm putting their lights out. So, at the end of the day, man, you're going to eventually see me get down to 185 and get down to 170. But as of right now, I'm just cooling, chilling, you know, enjoying my life, as you can see. So, that being said, guys, see you next one.
Thank you for 100 subscribers. Peace. Bye.